Welcome to Fem Charted. Fem Charted? Yeah. Isn't I'm pretty sure Uncharted's just Man Tomb Raider. Man Raider? Man Raider. Tomb Man Raider Man sounds a bit rapey. <laughs> sounds a lot but rapey, in fact. So, so in in my infinite wisdom, I spent four hundred and fifty pounds on a brand new four K console and decided to put a five year old game onto it as the first thing I played. So, what better way to celebrate that than to record it? Yep. <laughs> nice. So, okay, so she's looking for a way to light fuel that she's just covered herself in. That's yes. not going to go badly. Lara is a bit of a moron. But she's a lot of a moron. But, I have to admit, I, I forgot how good this game was. I... The only reason I really wanted to play it was because the new film's coming out in January, I think. And uh, uh, oh, yeah. I yeah with uh, Alicia Vikander. And it actually... She's in everything. Well, yeah. She you you put well. that flaming torch in your trousers. Yes. All right. Fire That's crotch. covered in foil. Yep. The oil, yeah. All right. Suddenly you managed to light it with a cigarette lighter instead mm -hmm. of the method you did before. Yep. Uh -huh. to, so, uh, and then you just walk in the fire. What, You're my, not good at this. <laughs> fire is not my friend. <laughs> there it is. But did you ever play this one? No. So you, I, I'm confused as to why you just blew that stuff up. And then so, I'm, so we're she's it. stuck on an island, uh, and this is a rescue plane who needs a signal to see where she is, and she done said signal, and then plane got attacked by a mysterious storm. I'm pretty, aren't aeroplanes like somewhat designed to withstand being hit by lightning? Uh, yes, but not giant, mystical, possibly supernatural storms. Uh, and that's kind of the the overarching theme to this game is that they may be stuck on this island for you know, because, because the island wants them to be stuck. On yeah, pretty much. It's it's basically lost the video game. Yeah, they they try. Well, a couple of times they try to get off the island or get away from the island and these magical storms keep appearing that stop them. So I've got to go and find out why. Uh, it does kind of culminate in, you know, giant magical samurai people that I have to kill. And but staring down Lara's top, apparently. Yeah. But I will give it this. Do you remember when they first uh, announced this game? And it was that really kind of uncomfortable heavy breathing simulator. Have to get to him. Oh, yeah. And it was really uncomfortable. Uh, almost as uncomfortable as watching what is about to happen here because I'm a complete fucking mongoloid. <laughs> How did you... <laughs> How did you even miss? I have no idea. You only had one thing to... Okay, so you just stepped off of it. Well, I completely lost confidence in my ability to catch things. <laughs> but, um, I've got my saying. Yeah, so it's a heavy breathing simulator at E3 would have been, I don't know, 2011, 20, oh, no, probably 2010 or 2011, I reckon. Yeah. Uh, and I really, like, it genuinely made me uncomfortable watching it. So, like, that's a. I know Lara Croft was always, you know... The sex icon. Yeah. I was like, this With is, the this giant is... pointy tits. Yeah. But this might be taking it a bit too far, and I have to admit, uh, it's not like that at all in this game. And there's, you know, there was the controversy when it came out of the food threatening to rape her, and I can't remember if... I can't remember how bad it was when it first came out, but either it wasn't that bad, or it's been toned down for the definitive version, which is on Xbox One. It was fine. It wasn't fine. It wasn't fine, but it was, you know, just a bit threatening. But apart from that, it, it's actually it's a really good action game. And I'm okay with Lara not being in super tight shorts and, you know, the top's a bit daft. 
but yeah, a, a bit. And you know, on several occasions, she, she sits there complaining about how cold she is, uh, and then sits near a fire, and all is good. So you know, I said, I'm really cold. Well, all those people you've murdered. Yeah, they had coats on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can go into the menu and like just give her a coat. I just never did. I don't know why. But, uh, but yeah, it's actually you know that we were talking about Uncharted Two or Uncharted and Uncharted Two a little while ago, and we've done like the Uncharted Two video. And I do think uh, where Uncharted Two is the pinnacle for a lot of people for good actual for great action games. I think I actually preferred playing this, even though it seems to have ended at least twice by the time I've got near the end. Like you've had two really final feeling finale bits and they're not the finale. It's basically like watching a Lord of the Rings film. <laughs> yeah. But it is good, you know, the, the action's fun, the, 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 the shooting's a lot of fun. I like taking out groups of people with the bow and arrow. Uh, as you'll see in a little while, I'm not particularly Laura, good at it. But if I remember rightly, plane. I kind of I skip forward I to another bit of mission so after this little bit here. Position. Cool. Just occurred right. I mean, to me, you know, when we were talk, you were talking about the uh, the heavy breathing and the the, the grunting like a tennis player. Mm-hmm. I kind of feel bad for the chick who voiced... It wasn't grunting like voiced... a tennis player, it was grunting like a bad MILF movie. <laughs> I kind of feel a little bad for the actress who's being forced to do that in a studio. I do as well. Uh... I, mean, I don't know who she is. She's, uh, Camilla Luddington, I don't think she actually has any real proper acting credits. Okay. But she was in Californication. Yeah. And I think she also... Played Kate Middleton in the biopic about Kate and Prince William. Okay. I didn't even realise that was a thing. Neither did I until someone you... pointed it out oh, to me. I'll say, you like reading IMDb while we're talking? No. Oh. I'm not reading IMDb while we're talking. I remember it from IMDb. Someone mentions that that was a thing. Yeah. So at this point, I, you set yourself almost on fire. Well, no, someone threw a Molotov cocktail at me. I'm, I know there is a trophy, and I, I, I'm not purposefully trophy hunting in this game because most What's of the trophies are a bit shit. But there is a trophy for dragging, you know, for firing ropes at people and dragging them to their deaths. Are you trying to pull a dude off of off of a ten foot height? Yeah, pretty much. All are being shot at by what sound like. Tech oh yeah, the fucking the gun sounds in this game are shite. The guns in this game are shite, but I actually I, I I don't know if that's meant to make you want to use the bow and arrow because there are some sections that you would not get through if you just used the bow and arrow. But it is a uh, the gun sounds are a bit shit. Uh, even when you have a gun and you're shooting people, they're a bit shit. They get better as the game goes on. Because you, your gun is upgraded, but and you and you end up with like a really good gun, well, like that's an eagle. You get, uh, it says Magnum, I think. I think they called it a Magnum. But they get like a, you, I know I have like a combat rifle and a sports bow and arrow or something. It's, you know, the, this isn't EA. There's no fucking gun sponsorship in this game. <laughs> well, it's like the um, the old. Resident Evil stuff when they uh, they couldn't couldn't use the actual names of the guns. Yeah. So they ended up with the Lightning Hawk. Yeah. And the. Uh... Well, I suppose they did have the H and Ks. Yeah. But I also. Random salvage. Yeah. Well, you use salvage to upgrade your weapons. Uh... It's kind of like The Last of Us. Yeah. Just finding random salvage. Now we're on a different mountain, or yep. the same mountain, just a different side of the same it, mountain. Yeah, ever so slightly further on, uh, mainly because I was dicking around with the with the checkpoints and fucked up, so I just cut all of that out and just went back here. 
You just wasted two arrows on making yourself a little rope bridge. Yep. You're probably right, but we got Surely you could have just tied the rope around the thing. <laughs> I mean, it's... The ropes can do that. They can be tar uh, tied. Yeah. But this is still... Uh, it's probably the halfway point of the game. Maybe a little bit before then. I don't know, I recorded it a little while ago. I, I do hate the fucking Xbox and the fact it only records 10 minutes at a time. Yep. Which is why I kind of have to keep fading in and out of bits of game. But, Star wipe. Um, yeah. Not happening. I have a the little dude bit. did a backflip. I know. You hit him in the face so hard he backflipped. Yep. I have a little bit of integrity. I will not be using Movie Maker for our videos. Or power director. Uh oh. <laughs> like the dramatic music as if there's more enemies, but there don't seem to be any more enemies. There's something shooting at me. It's a bit like uh remember when you play Gears of War and the music stops, you know you've killed the last enemy. See, now I'm trying to think that that's the perfect dude to pull off of the side with a rope. Yeah, I'd given up by that point. I literally that's, went, a, that's a just, long drop. Just fuck that, I can't be asked. Get more XP for the headshot. Huh? I'm here, uh, yeah, like situation? in Gears of War when, when you're in a gunfight and all the music stops is when you've killed the last guy and you can go around exploring. Yeah. This, this has a similar tell in as much as when Lara stands up from behind cover, that's it. That's basically the game telling you that you're all done. And there's absolutely no point in me lighting that lantern whatsoever. Yeah. Literally none. It serves no purpose. It's not even dark. <laughs> Wait, what are the lanterns even there for? Is it just to so that you can stand near them and well, those, see? Those lanterns are... A little bit earlier on in the game, before you got the firelight, you can stand near them and and get a torch, so you can walk around and see in the dark. But now I have a torch; it's literally pointless. Now you can do whatever you want with fire. You don't need lanterns. Exactly. You can make fire whenever you like. <laughs> like a real man or woman. <laughs> yeah, that looks like a sort of place you want to climb. With a gun. Did I, I'm sure I put a tomb, an actual tomb raiding video into this, or tomb raiding section into this video. But we've only got like five minutes left. <laughs> maybe, maybe you're not raiding any tombs. No. There was. Do you remember the? Well, you might not remember the, the complaint about this. The biggest complaint about this game was the fact that there wasn't enough tombs to raid. Come on, you yeah. Back. I've done like four. Up and let me finish. That dude's peeing off the side. Mm -hmm. Well, you probably could have just like left him alone because he was clearly just going to walk around you. Uh, well, you could have saved him. Well, I didn't want to. I wanted to shoot him. That, <laughs> that didn't work either. <laughs> you could have seen rope arrow and just like pulled him back onto the side. <laughs> uh, again, you probably could have just looped that around there. The yeah. Little ring that's on the side there. It's not dramatic enough though, dude, is it? Yeah, you have to dramatically suppose. stab an arrow into the wood like that. But if you notice when she does it, the arrow goes all the way through the wood. That woman it's is true. super strong. Well, it's a bit like, uh, I'm going to go really off topic. I happen to find out that uh, in one of the uh, episodes of the Pokemon anime, okay. the main character holds a Pokemon, which if you read the Pokedex entry, Weighs 999.9 .9 kilograms. Wow, a ton of Pokemon. Yeah, and he's lit, and it's like the size of like a uh, a five pound note. Okay, the density of a dying sun. Yeah, <laughs> well, the, the, the whole point of it is that it's uh, got it's a black hole. Yeah. Just like a caged black hole. Fair enough. But he can literally just hold it in his hands. <laughs> Uh, this is my tomb raiding bit. Ah. By tomb raiding you mean just walking through a very straight cave. 
Well, no, tombs in, in this game are... They basically get to an area, there's a puzzle to solve. Once you solve that puzzle, you get a decent reward. It's usually a weapon part and some salvage. Yay, yeah, salvage. Yeah. You do great for some salvage hunters. Mm-hmm. This, this isn't actually Tomb Raider. This is, in fact, American Pickers the game. It's really windy in this cave. Yeah. It's like in the middle of some kind of golf stream. Maybe. Ah. It's almost Butt Stallion. Yep. It's a gold horse instead of a diamond pony. <laughs> Good thing there's a lot of wind, otherwise you wouldn't be able to open that. Yep. At least I don't need to light that lantern. Or that one. It's all good. I like how you went to check, just to make sure. <laughs> no, no, what I like is the fact that I just went to hide behind a pile of rubble, just to see what I can do. Clearly you need to move the, du the horse. The horse, in fact, has nothing to fucking do with it. Nope, you have to put the horse on that, and then crank it up and then the horse gets dropped through that hole in the floor. Oh, nay. And this is but this is like a, a, a glimpse into me playing Tomb Raider all the time. Me just going, just like, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna keep doing things until something positive happens. And there's a point where it just clicks and I go, oh yeah, maybe I need to do that. You mean like stand on the plank of wood? No, like realize that I might be able to close that window for a second. Which is something I didn't realize I was able to do until just then. I will say that even though I had played this game before, I've never done this, this particular tomb puzzle thing before. So I had no idea what I was doing. I went in completely blind and still decided to fucking record it because I thought it would be fun. And I have no shame, I don't care. I put YouTube videos up to show me being completely shit at video games. Great. Yay! <laughs> I like how those shutters didn't knock you off or smack you in the shins as you went past them. So you, you went there, I went... It looked like the shutters from like a crap haunted house. There's definitely a shit ghost behind those. Are we talking like Eddie Murphy Haunted House style shit ghost? We're talking probably paranormal activity kind of shit ghost. I suppose, just as bad. <laughs> oh wait, paranormal activity or that, the like Wyans Brother remake, uh, you know, parody. Yeah. Paranormal black activity. <laughs> yeah. Tomb raided. Tomb raided. You got a skill point. Yep. And a handgun part. Yep. I remember how um, raiding tombs used to be a lot more difficult than turn A crank. Because it's windy. Yeah. I'm talking like ridiculous water puzzles. Yeah. There are a couple. There are Some of them are quite difficult and require pretty good timing. But uh, yeah, not that one. But yeah, Tomb Raider, man. I... We we got it, you know. It was on Games for Gold, so it's on your to download list. I thoroughly recommend downloading it. Yeah. 